here is the Wi-Fi shield and it's attached to a Cyton right now. First thing I'm going to want to do is make sure power is cut to the Cyton board that's sitting below the Wi-Fi shield. I'll power cycle it just to be sure, which is just turning off and turning it back on. The board's giving off a Wi-Fi hotspot right now and I'll make sure my computer's on that network. If it is, I'll be able to go to 192.168.4.1 in any web browser and see my board. I go to slash board and I can see that the Wi-Fi shield doesn't know it's attached to any board. I'll hit configure Wi-Fi with no scan and type in my network ID and my password for my Wi-Fi network. You normally find this on your router. Once the credentials are saved, uh, I can now go back over and join the Wi-Fi network that uh, I had my com the Wi-Fi Shield join, and I'll be able to hit search and click on the Wi-Fi Shield when it comes up. Note that my computer is on the same network as my uh, Wi-Fi Shield. So I can see that I'm running firmware, and I can see that it's got an IP address from my router. I'm going to want to remember that IP address for later. Now, uh, we saw that the board that wasn't connected to any Cyton, so we'll power up the board, and that will perform power on cycle of the Wi-Fi shield. We can now click on IP address and see that the board is still connected. Now that the board has been power on reset, we'll close that and hit start system. I'll start the data stream, and if you see the data stream hitting breaks like this, that's due to your Wi-Fi router being hung up. You can either get a new Wi-Fi router or try using Wi-Fi Direct. If you use Wi-Fi Direct, we'll remember that IP address we typed in, enter it in, and we'll see that we're still connected to the board. We'll go back over to the Wi-Fi Shield, and we will cut power to the Cyton below, and we'll return the power back on. You only see two lights come on. When we type in board this time or hit refresh, we'll see that there's zero gains and there's no channels connected and the board type is none. Now we go to Wi-Fi slash delete, and that's going to erase the network credentials on the Wi-Fi shield. You can always do you can do this in the GUI as well, but sometimes it's faster to do it up at the top. Uh, now I can go ahead and turn on power to the Cyton board, which will cause a power on reset of the Wi-Fi shield anyway. I'll join the Wi-Fi Shield network again, and now if I tried to go to 192.168.1.7, that wouldn't work, but going to 192.168.4.1 will work. And here we can go to slash board and see that we're still connected and connect to the Cyton. Back in the OpenBCI GUI, we can simply hit start search, and we'll see the board almost instantly come up much faster this time. We select it and you can see it's connected. The IP address this time is the 192.168.4.1 if we hit open BCI board we see that it's connected to the Cyton. We can come back over here, hit start system and when I hit start data stream this time the data comes in perfectly and at high speeds. And that's it.